All righty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air, and we're taking off where we left off. Uh, yesterday, you watched me square this up. I used angle iron to put in the corners to use for spacers, which give me the door that I want. Uh, you did not watch me put the centerpiece in, and the reason being is we had enough time in. Um, we just kind of ended it there, but we put it. I put a center bar in for the fact that if I'm going to sheath that, um, I'm thinking that I would want that in there just for strength for the sheet metal. We're, we're using 18 gauge, so basically I've done that. I've done the exact same thing on this one. I put the angle iron in the in the corners. I'm thinking it's a 3 16 so we put angle iron there. We made the two doors. On the original, I'm using for inspiration. What I'm doing here is what I want to do. I want to make one door, and the reason being is less material, and, and why not, you know? Why, why use four hinges on one door when I can use two? Why, use one piece, why not use one piece of metal instead of using two? Basically, I am, I am kind of taking the work and bringing it, making it easier for myself, and uh, if you can do that, I suggest you do it. Uh, I go tacked in the corners. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to face the door, put in the toolbox, and then we'll get to see what it looks like. Let's go. Let's do it. Jolene woke up at 7 this morning looking like a 10 and a half. <whistles> Was that good enough, baby? <whistles> All right, let's do it. All right, let's knock this off. There we go. Now, before I knock that off, I just want to show you. I marked, this is the face, and that is the bottom. So I know uh, this is what I put the metal on, and I know that's the bottom, so it goes this way. I just wanted to do it that way, and the reason being is if I start um, taking it off and getting it all mixed up, well, then I could be you know, playing with it for a while, which I don't want to. I just want to do the job and get it done. Knock these off. All they were for is escape. It made the job a lot easier. It really did. And I even num numbered the door, marked the door as number one. That's a good thing. So that's number one door, it goes there. Alrighty, that one goes there. Let's knock all these off. You got them all knocked off. And they're about a 3 16th. Seems to be a, a fairly decent gap for something that you want to, um, you know, that you're making. If you make it smaller than that, you're, you're playing for, uh, what can I say? You're playing for something hitting in the end, you know? If, it's, if you're doing an eighth gap all the way around, that looks better when you're making it. But to, by the time you weld it, fill it, paint it, you really haven't got much left, and then you're into more or less trouble.
know how tight a fit we got. We do not need them little pieces of weld holding us up for the tool. Hold the doors down, we'll get them faced off. I will face them, get some metal put on them, and then I'll probably close in corners in at the end. No doubt in my mind. So this is the face. That's where it goes on. That is the bottom. And it says number one. Join your number one in my books. Joey's number one. Now I have the two, two door faces. I'm going to throw them aside for a second. The reason I'm going to throw them aside is because I have a gap. Remember I said before, I, I put a little rock guard in there. It looks really nice. I like the texture of it. I like the color of it. I like everything about it. Um, it's fairly reasonable. I got my welding done up in the corners. Both corners got welded up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some seam sealer and throw it in this seam right here just because I can see light through it. I don't really don't want anything getting in between there and doing anything, any damage. So we'll tighten it up, make it tight and right. I haven't done any seam seal videos, I don't think, but I use this stuff whenever necessary. And if you've ever torn a car apart, this stuff is a major component to building a car. Every car, um, that you buy or own would have seam sealer in it. So um, it is something that's in every car. And uh, get a screwdriver, get a little, just cut the end of it off. It's got a little tiny piece of foil in the end here. You just knock that open, the foil, and then we're in. We got a hole down there, we're going for it. So, like this is in every. Car. If you strip a car, tear all the interior out, and you start messing with the wheel wells and all that stuff, it's got seam sealer in it. And if you've ever taken a car apart, you know it's not done very neat. They give it right to her. And the reason being is they're trying to seal the car up the best they can, the quickest they can, and they know that you're not, when you buy the car, you're not, you haven't got the seats out and the carpet out looking how good a job they've done at the seam seal, basically. Um, but as you know, as I'm using it, I'm going to try to do the best I can with, you know, as quick as I can for the job that I'm doing. But you can see right here, we're just going to plug it full. 
This is in every car. I bet you it's even in a Tesla. A clicker on this thing? Has it got an automatic stop on it? This is a bad boy. It's got an automatic stop on it. And I have something on there for the seam sealer to stick to. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to run my finger through it and just kind of go for it. If you, if you wait a while, it don't do it that well, <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to tell you. The longer you wait, the poopier it gets. It dries fairly quick. So I'm just going to feather that off a little bit there. This stuff shrinks. It shrinks, it does. So, as you see me putting this on, um, it shrinks. Actually, I think I've done a little screw right here. Put some more of that. That'll stop that from leaking. Um, I think you've seen me do this seam sealing on the welds on some of Joey's Bugatti. I did um, some seam sealing, and uh, the reason being was I was just taking and covering any pinholes or pockets that were in the weld to make it look better. That's all I was doing. Wasn't doing anything more and nothing less. Nice and tight here, so it seems to be tight. Tight and right, they call it. And we'll take our finger and run it through it. This stuff takes about a half hour to dry. And there's many different ways that you can put it on and take it off, or no, taking it off is hard, but there's many different ways that you can apply this. Um, you can take, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it, I guess. I think I'm done with it. Yeah, put it on. See that? Um, this stuff is very hard to get off. And as you can see, that went on fairly nice. It went on real nice, actually. I'm going to put a little tape on the end of this so it don't, it don't heal. So I can get it, when I go to use it again, she's ready to rock and roll. Any air to the, uh, any air to the seam sealer, it'll take off and dry on you. Now, I want the ways that you can apply this stuff. You can apply it right out of the, right out of the gun with a dry finger like I just did, I just did it quickly. You can have a little cup of thinner, you can apply it, stick your finger in some thinner and, and, apply, and apply it and try to make it nice and smooth. You can apply it and then take a paintbrush and, and, and try to get it to where you want it to go. You can put a piece of tape on one side of the line, piece of tape on the other side of the line, seam seal it, run it off your finger and then pull the tape off and have a nice straight line with your seam sealer. I generally like to put it on, dry wipe it with my finger once, twice, maybe, and then get out of it. But there's many different ways to apply the seam sealer. You can apply it right out of the gun itself and not even touch it. I could have, you know, you can take your time and apply it, you know, a one-shot deal. You can apply it right of the gun and do a, a really good job with it. You can take and squeeze it on. You can have a squeegee and apply it if you want to. You can see them in commercials. They have them little tools that you can apply it. So there's many different ways you can apply it. Um, it's just sometimes uh, difficult to make it look nice. That's basically it. Sometimes it don't look nice. Where I've got the rock guard in there, it kind of went on real nice as far as I'm concerned. Now gap's full. No water's going to get in. That we hard to get off. And it's going to hear probably the best that it probably could. So, I'm going to face these. So in other words, there's more than one way to skin a cat on that stuff. Let's get a pair of gloves on. Right over here. Do you see that little skip? Huh? I'm just skipping along today, I am. Alrighty. Got a piece of metal. I'm gonna have to get a zip cut rock in a row. Now we've got the face and we've got number one. 
Baby, you're number one in my books. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna make this fit. I'm gonna lay, lay it right on, lay it right on the, lay it right on her. Then, then, then lay it on the top piece. I've got two, two factory pieces. I do not want to get the metal Do not want to get the metal. Too far above. I want to get it just right so when I weld it on, get a little bit of gap, a little bit of an issue going on there. It's nearly not the... Should I what? Well, it's, it's basically the same on both sides. Julie's talking to me, and I love her for it. Okay, now we're just gonna do this. It's perfect on one side. She said, should I flip it and make sure the face is down? I'm thinking that um, where I've got it like this, there's no, what can I say? There's no difference, if you know what I'm saying. There's, if I flipped it or whatever, like, there's no difference. But this is, on top. So we're going to do nice distance there, nice distance there, I think. All right, let's cut that piece. We'll get a zip cut. I'm going to come around your side, sweetheart, the zip cut. You can make um, the door on the floor, on the bench, and all that sort of stuff. I'm just, I was just trying to take away being crooked, not fitting, fighting with it, and all that sort of stuff. That's what happened with the, the angle iron in the corners. I had the shims. I had it in the hole. It's got to fit, you know? That's basically what I'm doing. I'm taking away failure by doing that. When I'm cutting this piece, I do not want that piece of metal bigger than the door. And the reason being is when I go to weld this piece of metal on that door, if the metal's too long on the outside of the door, and when I go to weld, then I got a bunch of metal that's, or a bunch of weld that's outside the door. That's what I want. I do not want this two piece too big. I want it to fit just right. We'll, we'll go over that later on. So, I've marked the door on the face, 
So what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is, if the piece of metal is too big, like so I want that piece of metal to fit right on the edge like that. That's nice. Um, maybe a little bit much on the top. But basically I want metal um, not too, sticking out too far of the square stock because this square stock is what fits the hole. Let's stick this piece on. And the reason we're gonna stick this piece on is because we got this one done. We'll stick it all the way around. Stick it on. And then we know. So I'm gonna spray it down, pull this off. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Just gonna set it underneath there, it should be fine. Put some pressure on it. Now, I'm just going to... Where's my helmet, sweetheart? That's all right, right there. Excuse me. Now. What I'm wanting to do or I, what I want is I want that piece of metal. Come on, let's take a look at this side. You can see this side's fitting really nice. It's up there a little bit on that side. I'm a little bit probably long. See how that's got a little round edge there? You can see I'm not I'm not too far over, so I'm good. One, it's holding it. Two, it's in place. Now, any of, the, any of the weld that is over on the square stock too far, and I go to grind the door, door off, it's, it's, you know, the metal's over too far, that means that when I grind, grind it off, I'll be grinding my weld off. I don't want that. I don't want that. We're up a little high here. We are, we are. Down, down here, we're nice. You can, see the, you can see the edge of the square stock. Back there, we're, we're a little, little bit high. We'll weld it on and then we'll deal with it after. So what happens with the weld here, it's above a little bit. If I go to grind it all off, I'm, I, got, I still got a little bit holding on. Yes, I do. Should be fine. You really have to pay attention to that because I want to grind the door off nice all the way around. And I can't if I have too much metal. This side looks good. Not as good as you, Jolene, but it looks good. How that's too far. I'm gonna take the flapper wheel and knock that back some. Just because I can, and I should. See the heat? Did you see the metal get? Flimsy there, putting the heat to it. See how it get all flimsy like that? That's put from putting the heat to it from that flapper wheel. So, you know, sometimes um, you gotta be careful of putting heat to something. I'm gonna start in the center. I think it's the right place to start on this on this piece. The way over there. Happy. Happy. 
Tighten up. All right. We'll leave that first door. Turn it up like that. We'll leave that for a minute. Put that on the face. That's the bottom. Number one. Turn off this. Let's make another one. We're waiting for the seam sealer. But this seam sealer doesn't have to dry. It looks pretty good against that rock air, does it not? If you want to take a look. Um, you can barely tell that it's in there. There's no, there's no gap going there now. And when that stuff dries, you are not getting it off. You might if you, if you dug at it with something, I suppose. But it's a, it's a hard go. Let's make another one. How fast can you cover two doors, put in two toolboxes, and cut them at the same time? How fast can you do it? Put this on there. Good down that side. Going with it, I can't see it, looks good. Can I bring it down just a little bit more? That looks good. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So when I draw the line, if you look at the line, the line is on the outside of the door. That line is on the outside of the door. So when I cut it, I'm cutting on this side of the line down here. And when I cut this line, I'm cutting on the inside of this line over here because I want the piece of metal to be smaller than the door. And if you don't, then you're back into cutting it again. And again. And again. Get the zip cut. Got one over here. So that's some of the stuff you got to think about when you're making something, or it can take you, you know, you, it's good to think about, like you should know that stuff or think about that stuff as you're making something. And if you don't, it just, it just takes a little longer, that's all. Don't let it ruin your day or anything, it just takes a little longer. Just like that grinder disc has ruined my day, that center's no good. That's a return. Return to sender. Address unknown. Now, cutting on. I'm going to get this thing moved. Now, like I said, black line is on the outside of the pattern, so we're cutting on the inside of the black line to make it fit right.
And I got a little bit up there, do you mind a little bit? A little bit. Looking good though. Let's turn her on. Ouch. Scratched my forehead. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it right there. The corn looks good. Oh, that looks good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Nope. Is it off there a little bit? <laughs> I'm gonna have to knock that one down on. high on this side and I want to look at that I didn't get that down tight and right you notice that in a couple places I didn't shame on you okay I see what's going on there I see what's going on there it's gonna get a hammer the metal is tight on the center you see it right here it's tight on the center rib That on both sides. Don't know why I made a mess there like that, but I did. Okay, and then grind that one off. These two gotta come off. Damn it. It'll knock that up. It's not tight. And uh, I do not want that on there not tight because it wouldn't make me happy. Tight now. Stop it. There you go. Just for... No, nope, I need to grind that off some. And the reason being, the metal is too long. So I went backwards a little bit there. Backwards. Let's grind this off.
जो कि I probably should have left that for now because I probably end up welding that up when I weld a square, weld that shut, I weld a piece in there. Don't know why I did that, but it did. Alrighty. Um it's gotta be connected in the center. It seems to be nice and tight. So I'm just gonna run run the welder down through the middle of it. It's tight and right there it seems to be. Still seems to be good. Keep everything from taking off. Door feels really good. Did not do that on the other one. So that door will have to be welded all the way around the outside. If it is not, you have the chance of filler cracking. This looks good through the center. Pull it out the center first. Awesome. That's good. Now it says on the bottom what they are. Number one. Let's put these aside for a second. I'm hoping that, not hoping that, whatever, but let's put the toolboxes in. Now, I should be good to go. I need the drill and the self tappers. And the reason being, I'm going to show you here in a few seconds. Let's do it. Uh, toolbox number one. Ah, 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 right here. So we've got them rock guarded on the outside. And the reason being is um, I might not be able to get it on the top of it after I put it in there. I, I will not be able to get at it. You know, I can throw stuff up in there if I can, you know, try to. But basically, I, am, I will be stranded All right, you're gonna watch me fight and put this in. No swearing allowed. <laughs> Just under your breath. Not sure. Is this the right one that goes in there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm fitting good and it's scraping that stuff off already but there's nothing I can do with that hey that's not what I wanted to do that's not what I wanted to do it flipped up now I got to get something underneath there and try to hold that from going up or coming to get it back down. Piece of metal, screwdriver. Piece of metal is probably the best. Piece of metal. Hmm. My dear here. Yeah, get a piece of metal in here. There we go. There we go. 
now we're talking. Now if I can hold that there and get this. Not strong enough. Okay, you can see how that's tied up against up there, where that is. And then it's got the gap in between it. That's why I seam sealed that, in case if anything got up in there, it's not gonna get inside, up in there. Good. Now, what I am going to do, I want a level. I'm figuring that the toolbox should be in there level. Now, which way is it gonna go? Come down. So. Just beating on it. That's all. And all that's doing is pushing that out further. Yeah, you can see how my my little level put in there, and she's in the center. Somewhat. I'm going to tack this side because it looks really good. That's good up there. Good. Holy treaties. That's in there good. So this is what's going on. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Now. Soft tap or anybody? Level. It's in there, it's in there, it's in there. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And that's what I want right there. When I go to weld this toolbox in here, I want to weld this piece, this piece, and this piece as one piece. That's what I want to do. And that way there, that way there, it's less welding. And I'm gonna take a look on this side. Everything looks tight and right on this side. Everything looks tight and right on that side. Now, take a look in here. This looks all look good. I like it too because it's got a nice little gap going on there. You can see how when I'm welding that, that's welding on the square stock, the corner of the square stock, this metal, and that metal. So that's really that's a really nice fit right there. I enjoy this fit here. I'm gonna have to do something with this fit here, obviously. This fit over here is not too bad. This fit up here, we'll, we'll see here in a bit. So, I'm gonna take a knock on another one. Good. I'm going to I'm gonna knock on a self-tapper in the back so I'll know where to drill a hole and bolt it. Just take the self-tapper out when I'm ready. But the self-tapper will help me hold it in place, keep it in place, keep it tight and right. Alrighty. Where are boots there? We're right about here somewhere. I don't think it's going anywhere anyways, but... That's one of those duds. That's a dud.
Stop it. Better be good to me. There. We'll know exactly where to put our bolt through. Keep it about the same height on the other side. Same distance away, sort of. Trying to make it somewhat the same. Yeah, we have to make this fit. That fits up there nice. Ooh, lovey-dovey. Third arm. Remember. That's nice. That's nice. Just check and see if any of them welds come off up there. I think I want to tack it here first. Now I'm just gonna check on the, see there's a couple of welds let go where we ground them off. I just wanna make sure they're in. In far enough. Beautiful. Now, just looking at this, ah, oh, sun in my eyes. The sun is in my eyes. Now I got a little bit here, and I feel, could be better. If you feel it can be better, fix it. Hope that makes sense to you. Now we're gonna have to get up. Get up, push, and put it together. Come back and work our way over. <laughs> Jeez, hey? Stop it! Hoping that stuck together. Again. Now I can. Oh, nope, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit that with a little better piece of weld in a different spot. And the reason being is, if I hit the exact same spot, it might take off. So I'll hit it back here a little bit. Got a piece of square stock in the middle of that. That's nice. Made me feel better about things. Now, okay. Nope, knock this up. Tighten right there, you hear that noise. Put it went on her. We're right on that square stock too, so you know it's a good fit when it's on that square stock, corner of that square stock. 
to do here in the corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the corner in and I'll have to deal with the top. Push this in, get it tacked on. I think that got it. Good. Now, I have an issue right here. I've got it well, I'm gonna put it, plunk it on the corner, and then we're gonna to have to knock that out. It's called stretch the metal. It's an easy thing to do to stretch metal, but the hardest thing to do is to shrink it. Do that again. Got my knee there to right, so it stays. We've got you. We've nailed you. You're in place. Now that we got it down a little bit. That to fit nice, that's all. No harm, no foul. Good. Good. Now, you have to work this side. Now, this side here, we've got a little bit of work to do. Um, Da -da 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 -da. That's moving. There, we'll stop that from moving. Pull that back. Now we start zip cutting. Need to work this back some. nail that down see where we got that looking decent we're down on there tight that's looking good that's everything's looking good there just want to nail it together put that square stock in behind there that's nice Good. Good. Then when we grind that off, with knowing it being like that, 
We can almost grind that right off so you would never know it was welded there. You obviously will because you watched me. Now we have to deal with this side up here where you can see it don't it looks good. Just wondering if you should cut the metal there a little bit. A hammer. I'm just I'm just feel, what I'm feeling for if it's wavy or not. This down here feels pretty good, feels a little high right here. And it very well could be just, just the weld holding it. Try and tell you. The weld holding it. It wasn't tight when we got it. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Ooh, that feels good. I'm going to. Ah. I'm going to do it in the center. I'm going to go for it. Because it feels straight. That's why I'm nailing it on, because it feels straight. If it wasn't, I wouldn't. I'd fix it. All right. Now, a little bit going on there. Push that in tight, and then I'll be able to hammer the rest of it. Push that in tight, weld her over. Walk her to her. Don't want to see it get away. Now that I have that nailed on there, now I can hit it with a hammer. We'll do one side and then the other side. And that corner will have to get stretched. I'm thinking how we stretch it with a hammer. that now, would you? Hmm. Who is that masked man? That's bad Jan in a mask. Uh, now, I got a little spot right back here. I'm gonna... Now it's holding in place. Tap it. Now I can hammer that corner. Now I can stretch it. Just go slow with that corner. Just not tack it again. We'll just go slow with it. 
Then we won't rip it. Just go slow. Try not to. If we go too fast, we might rip it. If it does, it's okay. A little bit of heat going to it helps. That's where a torch um, would come in handy. You know, if you're heating things up, you're welding things in with a torch to, to heat that up and then you would, it would just mold right in place. Where I'm doing it cold, um, there's a different story. Not too much heat on you, okay? Now, for bottom, plumb, nothing's going to be falling out of the truck while we're driving down the road because he's sitting in there level. And she won't be going forward or backwards level. But bang on. Couldn't ask any better. Yeah, there's two of those to do. There is. But I'm going to take a door. And door number one, and that is the bottom. And that should fall right in there because we had that big distance in there. And it does. You can see how we got the distance in there. And now we're gonna have to um, take that distance and split it and put some hinges in there. So we've got some welding to do. We've got some grinding to do. Um, we have a magnet poo right here. That'll hold it. Two little magnets. This is what I'm going to do first. And blow them off. We're just, we're just playing around here, so. I don't say playing around. We're working. Ah. What do I get? <laughs> Can't get that back. I'm doing it that way. How about I do this? There's always a way, eh? If you want to stop and think about it, there's always a way. Let's see if we can get that. Done. Stay in there. So it goes to. Well, let's go split the difference with ours both. Anyways, you know what's going on from there. That's basically it. The door fits, the opening's there. Um, there's going to have to be work done to it to continue on and finish it. Do we got time to do the other one or just let her rock and roll? Yeah, just, it's fine. Alrighty, so basically, yeah, basically I, I've shown you what, how I'm doing it or how I'm, how I'm doing it. Uh, to do it twice would be twice as many times. I have to do it two more times on the other side. Um, I have to weld all the way around the door. There's so much welding there. Weld all the way around the door. Weld all the way around the square, the toolbox itself that's going inside. Um, and then I have to hinge it. I will basically get it in place with what's going on there. And we'll put some hinges on it and tack it in there so it goes in and out. I also put the square stock 
in the center of the door because I'll be welding a little piece of flat steel, a little piece of flat steel in the corner here, and there'll be a handle of them in there somewhat, somehow, uh, to latch it and open the door. So that's what I was thinking. And when, once I put this in there, it'll help the door skin be nice and flat, and it'll also give me a little extra here, so I can put a little square piece of metal here, that door handle can come through, and uh, have something to screw to and latch on and all that stuff and have some heft to it. But uh, there you go, uh, one door in the side of the Bugatti hauler. And the reason I'm doing the one door instead of the two is because of the material and the amount of work. Alrighty, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I muchly appreciate it. If you've not contacted Colton, give him a, you know, wish him wellness and, and uh, get better and hope things go good for, his, for himself, um, please do. Like, share, comment, come back, see you tomorrow, and subscribe.